This is a quick guide for showing how to do L2 network extension using NSX Autonomous Edge. So we have an on-prem DC and we have a VMware Cloud and AWS SDDC. We have two networks, two VLANs on-prem, 701, 702, that we want to extend to the cloud. And we will do that across an L2 VPN tunnel. And the way you do that is to deploy NSX Autonomous Edge appliance on-prem in your vSphere uh, environment locally. And you hook that then up to uh, terminate on the T0 router in the NSXT environment in VMware Cloud and AWS. So we'll start with setting up the, the T0 router side. The, uh, in the VMware Cloud and AWS console, let's go to Network Security VPN and Layer 2 VPN. We add a new tunnel in here. We're going to use the public IP address. And the remote public IP is your on-prem public IP address, which I'm getting by using curl iconhasip.com. I will uh, blur this out uh, since it is a fixed local IP. And um, just uh, for the remote private IP address, use whatever IP address you're planning to assign on your local network to the NSX Autonomous Edge appliance once you deploy it later on. Once we save that, you get a pop-up. And in the pop-up, you will have, first of all, the link going to from where to actually download the um, NSX Autonomous Edge appliance from VMware. And they recommend that you use the, uh, the NSX Edge for VMware ESXi for this. You also get a second link, which will go to the documentation, uh, showing you how to actually set this up and configure it. I found this to be a little bit difficult to follow, and that's the reason I'm making the video, as well as a separate blog post on that topic. So the way we're doing the extension of the, uh, the VLANs on-prem is that we're creating a trunk port group. And that trunk port group will go underneath uh, a standard V switch. I have three servers on prem. I'm just cheating a little bit and doing some stuff from Bash, and um, you can do this manually from uh, from the UI, of course. But if you look at the um, the web consoles for these three servers, you can see that currently these are the port groups that we have, and we are now going to create three more port groups just from the command line. And if you refresh here, you can see that. Uh, that has shown up there now. And this is the trunk port group that we're going to use. In order to capture all the VLANs, uh, normally a port group would be set to just one VLAN, but in order to capture all the ones that we want, we will set this to uh, 4095. And if we do that, we can essentially vacuum up all those VLANs. Of course, this uh, vSwitch attaches to an uplink, which of course has those VLANs tagged on them, uh, the 701 and 702 VLANs that we are going to extend. Now, there are some additional settings that we need to do. We need to enable some security settings, promiscuous mode, uh, etc. So we will do that on all three servers. It is possible to do this from the command line as well, but it will affect the switch and not the port group. And I want to leave the V switch intact. So once we have this done, we can deploy the appliance. And uh, that is deployed as a standard OVF template. You have a few things to choose from here. Um, I'm just going to use the large L2T appliance. The disks are the same for all the appliances, so just highlight the OVF and MF templates that you want to use, and then all of the disks. And after that, it's just a standard deployment to the local cluster. And once we have selected um, our storage, we can set up the network. And for the uplink, I'm just putting it on a standard uh, uplink port. And then for the trunk, we are doing the uh, the trunk port that we set, set up earlier, the port group that we created earlier with the new security settings and the VLAN of 4095 to capture everything on it. Just enter in any password for it here, uh, whatever you wish to use. And here is the IP address that we set earlier on in the VMware Cloud and AWS console. Just going to show that here now. So that is the, the remote I, private IP address. And if we check the status of the tunnel, of course, since we haven't deployed the appliance, it, it is down. This will come up later on once this is, is deployed. Just set your NetMask, default gateway, and DNS. And the, um, the peer address is the remote IP address, the, the outside, the public IP address that we have uh, from the uh, VMware Cloud and AWS side. So we just copy that from here. 
and the peer code you can download from the settings here. So the download config will give you a text file and in the text file you have that uh, the configuration, the key. It's pretty long so make sure that uh, the peer code is copied all the way to the end. Normally there are a couple of equal marks at the end. You just make sure you get those as well. It says enable TCP loose setting, which is not checked in this case, but I would recommend that you do that because if you have that checked, uh, when you migrate VMs across this link later on, it will uh, retain the, uh, the connections. So if you have an SSH connection, for example, to a VM that you migrate, it will retain that. In this case, I'm leaving it unchecked. So the VLANs that we want to ex uh, extend are 701 and 702. And the way that we actually write that, the syntax for it, is that we write the VLAN and then brackets and then the tunnel ID. And the reason we're doing this uh, is so that you can actually split them out on the other end. You can know which one is which. So we're doing 701 and I'm giving them the same tunnel ID as the VLAN ID. Also make sure you set HA index here to zero, even if you do not intend to use HA. If you don't do it, the appliance will not boot. So we're deploying it here and then we are going to uh, power it up and have a look at the, the console. From there, we can monitor the tunnel state. And there is no more configuration to be done on this. We're just gonna watch the status change. We open that up and you log in with the admin and the password that you set during deployment. And then we can check the, the status by uh, doing show service L2 VPN. And we can see that it's currently down. If you wait a few seconds and issue the same command, it should be coming up. And there we go. So the tunnel is up here. Uh, let's have a look on the VMware Cloud and AWS side to make sure that it's up there as well. And that is now changed to success, so that is up. So how do we split out the VLANs on the other side? Well, we add segments in here. So you give it a name and then the tunnel ID. In our case, if we're doing, for example, 702, we just give it the, the, the VLAN or the 702 tunnel ID, and uh, then we can split out the VLAN from there. Once we've saved that, we can go in under network and segments and actually view it in there, and you will see uh, the status of it. As you can see, it is listed as extended. And that is all. Now you can actually migrate VMs across using HTX or uh, hybrid link mode. Thank you.